So let's now look at an activity that is uh, activity number three. You are the group auditor for bad company and are currently reviewing the consolidation adjustments for goodwill in respect of acquisition of company. Bad company acquired 7.5 million uh, of 10 million ordinary shares in wolf company for 12 million dollars. So this 12 million will be the consideration paid. At the time of acquisition, at the time of acquisition, the fair value of the net assets of the uh, of uh, wolf company was uh, 10 million dollars and the share price was 1.5 dollar each. Bad company operates a policy of valuing NCI at the fair value. Calculate the goodwill on the acquisition of Wolf Company and explain the principal audit procedures you would perform on the goodwill calculation schedule. Okay. Consideration transferred, uh, non-controlling interest, subtotal, net assets uh, required, acquired and remaining will be the goodwill. So this is how we used to calculate the goodwill. And then NCI at fair value, whatever the uh, non-controlling interest at share of the net assets and whatever the goodwill we allocated and we calculate the total goodwill. So one thing we need to understand is that or one thing we need to be very clear is that the question we need to read the requirement very well because if you don't understand the requirement you are not going to understand how we are going to approach the answer. Here the question is very simple calculate the goodwill of Wolf company explain the principal audit procedures you would perform on the goodwill calculation schedule. So if you want to know how you what are the principal audit procedures you would perform on the goodwill calculation all you need to do is complete the goodwill calculation. Based on the goodwill calculation, you will come to know what are the items that you need to ask, what are the documents I need to ask to perform the audit procedures on those goodwill calculation. To give you an example, consideration transfer. How can I verify this $12 million? I can verify through bank statement. I can check the uh, share certificates that I have received. Uh, I can check the uh, board minutes where the you know approval has been taken place. A lot of procedures, a lot of process we can do. Because goodwill is just a calculation, uh, you know, if you want to find uh, writing, just recalculating the goodwill and finishing it off will not suffice, suffice your answer. When you are doing a calculation, when you are doing, you have to recalculate. Yes, when the client is doing a calculation, you can recalculate. Goodwill is a calculation. Client was going to calculate the goodwill. So you can recalculate. But before you recalculate, there are few things that you need to gather evidences and confirm those balances. Once you have done that, then it will be just a mere recalculation of the final amount. So if you are comfortable with duration transferred, the non-controlling interest, fair value, how they, however they have taken, uh, verifying the non-controlling, uh, the subsidiaries, you know, um, uh, 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 share price, which is 1.5, how will you verify? You can check the stock exchange, relevant stock exchange to see as of uh, a specific date, what is the value of the share price as of the year end? What is the value of share price? Then you can easily identify the fair value. So uh, then net assets are acquired. You can review the subsidiaries, net assets, financial statements and just take that balance and confirm that balance. So that's how we are going to do it. So first let's learn how do we calculate the goodwill and calculate the remaining items which are shown and uh, you know uh, whatever the total goodwill is we can calculate them and and then we will uh, automatically uh, you know uh, write down the principal audit procedures so activity 3 solution so activity 3 solution we are required to calculate goodwill uh, in two ways in two ways so we are going to calculate them in both of the ways okay so option 1 so I'm going to put it as option 1 Okay, um, consideration paid, consideration transferred, consideration transferred. The amount is given as 12 million, so which is 12,000. So the amount uh, is given as uh, 12 million dollars. So they acquired 7.5 million shares of 10 million, so which means 7.5 divided by 10 is around uh, 75%. So they acquired 75% shares of Wolf company for 12 million. So the amount of consideration will be 12 million. Okay. Then fair value of NCI. How will you calculate that? If you look at here, at the date of acquisition, the fair value of net assets was 10 million and the share price was 1.5 each. 
okay so the fair value of net assets is given as 10 million and the share price of the wolf company is 1.5 each so how will you calculate first the fair value of nci we know that uh, the com uh, bad company acquired 7.5 million of 10 million shares of wolf company so how much did nci acquire what is the share of nci nci will be remaining uh, 2.5 million so 2.5 million shares will be the remaining one so you take the 2.5 million shares so 2.5 million into dollar 1.50 how much is that 2.5 into dollar 1.50 will be dollar 3 million 750 thousand so adding both will be 15 million 750 thousand will be the total which is the subtotal minus fair value of net assets net assets of of the wolf company so wolf company share value of net assets which is again given as 10 million dollars so that will be negative 10,000 so total goodwill will be 5,750 this will be the amount of goodwill so this will be the amount of goodwill all right uh, we can calculate it in a second option as well the method which is based on the net assets basis we can easily do that it's not a, a big issue okay uh, we can easily calculate that so in the second way uh, which is given here where we are required to show the differences nci at fair value nci of share of net assets total goodwill attributable to nci we need to calculate those and total goodwill so we know what is our total goodwill so total goodwill is 5750 this is our total goodwill then nci uh, at fair value at fair value which we have calculated already which is 2.5 into dollar 1.50 so which is dollar 3.750 dollars and then so that's the NCI at fair value 3750 above and then NCI at net assets basis on net assets basis what is NCI at net assets basis what is the net assets of the subsidiary net assets of the subsidiary is 10 million and how much uh, of the shares does NCI own NCI own 25% which is 2.5 million so 25 percentage of dollar 10 million okay of dollar 10 million that is uh, 2500 2500 so if you take the difference of this you will understand what is the goodwill that is attributable attributable to nci so that is 1250 1250 okay 1250 and then if you remove 1250 from 5250 you will come to know what is the goodwill attributable to attributable to shareholders of bad company which is 5750 is just the balancing figure 5750 minus 1250 which is 4500 just 4000 500 so that's it so this will be the total goodwill it's not the second option but uh, rather it's uh, just showing the split of how the goodwill have been attributed as clearly that's it now based on this we can easily calculate our uh, you know um, uh, procedures we can easily write down the procedures what is the procedure see whatever i did right now this is the same thing what the client is going to do which means he would have calculated goodwill based on the information that 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 is available to him so this is a calculation by the client so whenever client does a performs a calculation what do we do we will reperform so you have to reperform this calculation of goodwill and 
recalculated to ensure its accuracy. So obtain this calculation of goodwill from that company and recalculate for accuracy. Then confirm this, this amount which is the 12,000. Verify it against the invoices, verify it against the bank statement, verify against the broker's invoice. How we have whatever this uh, derivative account, verify it through that. Verify it again so you can say verify through broker's invoice, broker's statement, bank statement for the amount that is transferred. So this is a cash transfer so can verify through the bank statement. Confirm the ownership of shares through the date of transaction and the number of shares by obtaining the share certificate. So take the share certificate as well and verify the total ownership percentage. Right. So confirm the share price. So if it is 12 million, it is calculated based on the number of shares of 7.5 million multiplied by the share price of how much? So 7.5 million multiplied by 1.50. Uh, 7.5 million into uh, number of share price. So based on X share price per share is what is forming of 12 million, right? So confirm that share price by verifying against independent source like Bloomberg, etc obtain this working working of 10 million working file of 10 million in the working file of 10 million right check the total number of shares of 10 million shares 10 million shares you check the share registry to, to, to check the existence of those 10 million shares check the board minutes to see if the you know accounting treatment adopted is correct as per ifrs 3 so these are various uh, answers you can write so let's quickly write down all of the audit procedures so audit procedures okay number one is to obtain the goodwill calculation goodwill calculation calculation and Reperform the calculation to verify its accuracy. Okay. Second, confirm the consideration paid of dollar twelve thousand against any broker's invoice or the bad company's bank statement statement okay should not be or it should be and all right so here the document we are asking is brokers invoice and bank statement so and what are we verifying we are do what what kind of audit procedure we are doing aeiou inspecting correct so we are inspecting the bank brokers invoice and bank statement to verify the consideration paid of twelve thousand dollars and then uh, confirm the share price confirm the share price uh, paid on the date of transfer via an independent source independent source so here the share price will be so 12 million is transferred divided by we acquired 7.5 which is 7500 shares we acquired right so share price will be uh, how much so 12 million divided by 7500 is dollar 1.6 so you need to verify this share price against uh, against any independent source so whatever the share price which comprises of that 12.12 .12 million transfer of uh, consideration that you need to verify against the independent source fourth one 
uh, fourth one obtain the working papers obtain the working papers confirming the fair value of dollar 10 million of wolf net assets so check the fair value of uh, of uh, of the 10 million of wolf net assets by confirming the working papers and then confirm the total total number of ordinary shares ordinary shares of wolf company by verifying against the share registry sixth one confirm the correct accounting treatment by reading the board minutes of adoption of IFRS 3. So these are the few things that you can write when it comes to goodwill calculation in specific.